Good evening and welcome to Varkin 2018. We are the Hall of Heavy Metal History and my name is Whitney. The Hall, together with the Drums and Disabilities program, are here to celebrate the names and faces that have made hard rock and heavy metal what it is today. And tonight, without a shadow of a doubt, we are joined by some of the world's most ultimate metal legends. But first we're going to go back in time with Mr. Steve Golby here. Yes, indeed. Back in time to 1969. The Black Country, England, the heartland of industrial Britain, where British steel was forged in more ways than one. 1969, West Bromwich Albion get to the semi-final of the FA Cup and the quarter-final of the European Cup Winners' Cup with a goalkeeper called John Osborne, funnily enough. <laughs> the local music scene vibrant with bands such as Earth, who changed their name to Black Sabbath that year. Led Zeppelin, who released their debut album that year. Alongside Freight, Hiroshima, and the Flying Hat Band. <laughs> the Magic Hat Band, even. <laughs> so, the stars magically aligned, and we absolutely got another thing coming. One year previous, Bob Dylan released his John Wesley Harding album. It contained a song called The Ballad of Frankie Lee and Judas Priest. Now, Frankie Lee, he died of thirst after spending 16 days and nights in a home with 24 women. Make of that what you will. <laughs> Judas Priest, on the other hand, went on to become one of the most successful and influential bands of all time. Influential, not just for the blistering songs, the crucial anthems and the unforgettable albums, but because no other band has impacted metal style so heavily. Priest's sound has touched all four corners of the globe and resonated throughout the generations. But it's not just about the history and the legacy, it's about the future as well. And this year's Firepower album, as well as being right up there with the very best of Priest's entire career, gave the band some of their biggest chart positions ever. But back to the Bob Dylan song, The Ballad of Frankie Lee and Judas Priest. And it clearly states in the song, the moral of this song is, nobody should be where they do not belong. And Priest must definitely belong here about to headline the biggest and the bestest metal festival in the world and about to take their rightful place in the Hall of Heavy Metal History. And without further ado, Steve, I think the boys deserve their awards now. Absolutely. So... And first of all, and first in metal in many, many ways, the metal god, Mr Rob Halford. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Shall I, shall I say a few words on behalf of all of us? Please. Otherwise we'll be here for the rest of the night. Yes. And we have a show to do. As uh, was just mentioned, we're headlining Wacken this year. And uh, it's always a thrill to headline any festival because not only is it a great moment for priests, but it's the great moment for heavy metal and particularly British heavy metal. And that's what makes this award even more special to us because it comes from a special place, the home country, the home of heavy metal, as we call it, the Midlands especially. So we thank you so much for this very generous honour. We know we're amongst some of our mates in the heavy metal history. Uh, so on behalf of all of us here, thank you. the Judas Priest Band, up and coming lads. <laughs> This guy here is a, watch this guy, he's going to go places. Thank you so much everybody, we really, really are very, very grateful, it means the world to us, and keep the heavy metal faith. Next. Excellent. Next, one of the most enduring bass players of all time in heavy metal, 49 years in, and counting in Judas Priest, <laughs> Mr Ian Hill. And Ian Hill, bass drum. Okay, a gentleman who made his Judas Priest debut on 1990's Painkiller album. What an album to make your yeah, debut yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, indeed, yeah. 28 years in Judas Priest, I'm counting, Mr. Scott Travis. Right. Thank you, thank you. Thank Absolute you. pleasure. 1980 was a very, very special year for, for British heavy, but he knows where I'm going with this. 
the British Steel album was born, Castle, Donington, Monsters of Rock were born, many other great metal albums were born, but above all of that, Mr. Richie Faulkner was born. Mr. Richie Faulkner. <laughs> We always, so, like to, we always like to, uh, we always like to kid Richard that he was banging his head in his nappies <laughs> to Judas Priest at that time. So I'd just it's, like to it, point, add that little bit of heavy metal history to the history. I'll pull that, I'll pull that in the right up, yeah. That, that's, you've got the most heavy metal birthday ever. Indeed. <laughs> so, many, so many things we could say about this gentleman. I only really want to say two things. One is absolute all-time legend. And secondly, no surrender. Mr. Glenn Tipton. Woo! Okay. Judas Priest, hellbent for the Hall of Heavy Metal History. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, everybody. Thank you. 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 Really you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's an absolute pleasure, Thank Robert. You it's, so it's, it's an honour for us as well. Beautiful. Really, Thank really, you. really, really Thank great. You so Thank you, man. man. Cheers, Scott. Nice one. And, uh, oh, well, Scott, you're a total of bullshit. Fuck me. Thank you.